live video is starting and we are officially live what is up everyone welcome to another episode of evening drama <laughs> oh, i'm sure no one's on yet but mm. we can chit chat to start okay how was your holiday well, last why week? you guys are pretty quiet to me quiet like soft mm -hmm. oh george is quiet maybe i can turn up only george test How test do that? oh I... yeah much better okay yeah your mic was too far all right mm. check 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 <clears throat> all right yeah. yeah we're all live was the holiday was good we went uh fishing uh you <laughs> caught up one fish which was very sad, but... What's up, Andrew? Day. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Did you guys cook the fish? Hello, Andrew. No, we we released it. Oh, well, Edmund, sort of a lot too. Of, like, Welcome, Edmund. Yeah. Welcome, Edmund. We we still have a lot of um uh, meat in the freezer. Uh -huh. from going on a fishing trip a while back. So I don't like to, like, you know, kill something. Just for the sake of killing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if our freezer was more empty, I might have taken the fish. <laughs> I guess, I mean, if you, yeah, if you took it, that wouldn't be, I don't know. I mean, if you took it, it's still killing it for the sake of killing it, right? Mm hmm Yeah, I mean, if we leave it, there's a chance it might, you know, have babies and make more fish. Uh-huh. Yeah, true. I mean, if you don't need to eat it, then you don't need to mm -hmm. kill it. Yeah. I mean... Mm -hmm. You never have to eat anything. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> that is the most pure way if you can live off tofu and like not kill anything. <laughs> How do you get tofu naturally? With huh? soybeans. Yeah. What do you do? Like ferment it or something? I don't know. It's What's it's the ground up. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's ground up and then compressed. Well, it, it it depends, right? Isn't it most of tofu made from soy milk? So you ground up, you compress, you take the juice, and then you coagulate the juice. With oh, like I don't know. I like on on TV when things. I see how they make it, like uh huh. I don't know. It seems to be like a uh a popular thing to do in Korean variety shows when they make tofu. Oh, they do. <laughs> I mean, like they they use it for like games and like punishment you know like oh if you lose then you have to stay back and make tofu or something <laughs> really i didn't yeah. know that hey dad so so they grind they use the hi uncle they it's use that grind that what that it's not a, it's not a pest and mortar that uh the thing is to spin round around oh they make it from scratch scratch yeah so like oh, you gosh. pour the beans in a small hole then you grind it and you keep pouring uh -huh. then like all the ground stuff then you pack it into like cloth and then you compress it oh. after a while it becomes after you leave it for a while it comes tofu oh you just let it solidify i don't know if they add anything else but this seems to be the most this seems to be what they do lah. how about the egg tofu japanese one? Oh, that one i don't know but i mean oh. talking about like the regular the block ones the white ones yeah mm-hmm Andrew asks, uh, Yeah, try making it once. After you catch a fish and release it, does it survive? Doesn't it have a hook injury or something? Oh, so they've done studies and they, like, you know, where they tag the fish and they say that like the fish like mostly do survive. You, like, you have to like be very careful not to leave it out of the water for too long. But it like, would have they, like I mean, a, some two die. an injury, right? In the mouth. Uh, the like hook. a piercing. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so so that's why like ideally you would hook them in a way that is like minimally damaging, but like can, for sure like can we shot it how they, yeah, can yeah, how they like, bite your hook. Yes, so we've definitely had ones where they like swallow it way too deep uh -huh. and like you take it out, it's already bleeding. And they're like, oh, we have to keep this one. <laughs> and then this this one that was caught was not was barely hooked, so it was we were able to release it. Edmund and said you heard the use, fish feelings when you release use it. Nets. You can tell they're mad. <laughs> yes, yeah. ideally you also have a fishing net, but actually this time we didn't have one on us, so it was really hard to land. I'll show you guys the footage later. Okay. 
Yeah. You can get Singif to edit it into a montage video. I don't think he wants to do that. <laughs> He's like the video editor. I think he has a talent, actually. Yeah. Oh, totally. I know. Like, <laughs> like that keyboard one he did. The does. That was good. Yeah. And then the cooking oh. videos he's done before as well. Exactly. Yeah. No, I just watch a lot of videos. Yeah, I mean, you can translate it into your own yeah. creations. That's pretty good. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I don't think I can like look at a video and be like, ah, yes, I know how to do it now, and then like edit and then make it look like that video. <laughs> like, yeah, I think there is <laughs> something that's missing. <laughs> I've done like video montages before, but I just drag everything uh -huh. onto the timeline, put one song, and then I'm done. <laughs> uh, trim the song at the end. That's it. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I see the really good edits. They they match the beat of the song. Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I can't really do that with uh, iMovie on my phone. Oh. <laughs> well, you can start learning some uh, software on your PC. Yeah, I downloaded. Uh, was it Adobe Premiere? Pre Premiere Rush, the mm. mobile one. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Is that good? I don't mm. know. Yeah, it's like. It's like it looks way co more complicated than iMovie. Oh yeah, for sure. I iMovie I guess, is I guess, very. Easy. I guess that's one of the good things about some of Apple's like freebie software. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like what a uh, Garage Band than iMovie. Yeah. It's like mm -hmm. it feels so intuitive. Like you know what you're doing, you know. Mm -hmm. But then like mm -hmm. you open Premiere Rush, and then it's like all these, uh, jargons, you know. Uh. Yeah. So this one is like what uh. Trim and then like uh speed speed it up or slow it down and add song add audio you know yeah fade in fade out it's like it is so obvious what it does so you don't really mm -hmm. think about it so much yeah that's true Garage Band also right like yeah they show you like all the no I mean even for music Garage Band is actually like very good yeah yeah. I mean, if you don't need too much from it, you know, then mm -hmm. it's fine. Yeah, like yeah. great for like quick demos. Yeah, so like I mean, you can my... even do good full songs on it. Yeah, if you're willing to learn. Yeah. So like for mm -hmm. my video edits, it's like iMovie is like pretty good. Mm -hmm. I would like to learn like, all these like uh cool transitions and effects, you know. Yeah. Yeah, well, that seems a lot. Of, seems like a lot of work. Oh. All these things, like what uh, uh key frames and all those things, I'm like ah. Uh. <laughs> well, I mean, what if you the, do what's key frames, I don't know. But when I watch videos on how to create effects, and people use like uh, Adobe After Effects, and they're like, oh, okay, I'm gonna link this with the keyframe, you know, and this mm -hmm. and that. And I'm like, oh, I'm so lost already. Never mind, you know. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and the other thing that like uh, my friend Lewis was obsessed with for a time was color grading. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, you can download the LUT profiles or whatever. Yeah, I, I don't know. know. <laughs> Basically, I color grading is like. and blue is good. Yeah, I mean, you can change the whole feel of a video just mm -hmm. by changing the color. Yeah. So you make it like warmer or cooler or. Mm -hmm. Weird. But there's uh um, there's so much that goes into it. Like I watched a video that they on like this guy had a video that he did the lighting wrongly. Mm -hmm. So the mm -hmm. video ended up look like it couldn't be used at all. So he did a challenge on YouTube where he paid people on Fiverr I think, to uh color grade. No wait. It. Yeah, basically he challenged people to color grade it for him lah. And then mm -hmm. uh, he also shared their video, the thought process behind it. Were any of them successful? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Actually, I mean, the ones that he chose to showcase were obviously the the good the ones, ones uh. Yeah. So like, so yeah. So you have to think about like uh, the angle of the the video. So like one like one angle you have to color grade it this way. Then another angle where the light is coming from a different source, you have to color grade it a different way because obviously it's not the same anymore, right? Yeah. Yeah. So oh. it's like all those little considerations you have to take into uh that makes it different. Like, it's not like you just slap a filter on it and then like uh mm -hmm. put the whole thing. Yeah, through, yeah. That's for multi-angle uh, productions. Yeah. If you're just doing one 
straight shot that doesn't change. You can yeah. only mm. do it. You can do it once. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like they talk about color. Like oh, this this color is not right. His face is a bit too red. Now I'm like, it looks okay to me. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Like 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 if I saw that video, I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't be like, oh, something's wrong with his skin. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe they have different monitors. Oh, that's yeah, we, we can't yeah. even tell. It's yeah. so sad. You can't even tell like a, a video is like the wrong color. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like good enough. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like, yeah, I, I can tell between the three screens, like all three of us are lit differently. <laughs> so. Yeah, oh, for dude. sure. Oh, I ordered a new light for my room. It's not here yeah. yet. Yeah. But like, oh. hopefully it arrives in time for next okay. week. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, plan to like light up the wall here with one of those corner mm -hmm. corner lamps like the oh, is that the one we the, 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 the saw the yeah but i just got one from like la lazada shopee yeah 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 how much was it uh it was like 200 something oh yeah okay but we found one last time also right well this one has the option of cool warm uh cool and warm uh white light as well yeah. as mm -hmm. RGB. Oh. oh, just like mine. Why do you want RGB? So I can like have cool backgrounds when I'm gaming. <laughs> 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 I, I used to have like one small mm. one, but uh, that day it dropped. So it's broken. Sad. Oh no. Uh, yeah. Oh well. Okay, okay. That's why I, I went to buy a replacement. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> Are you guys reading the news about the Ukraine situation? Yeah. Yeah. So sad. So sad. What to do? Yeah. I know, right? I was reading about what we can do, and of course, there's like you know, there's like a two camps, right? There is like the oh, you should use a skill you have to to contribute, what whatever. Like you know, if you're like a hacker or whatever, mm -hmm. you know those kind oh. of things. And okay. there's also the other camp. It's like don't just jump in to help out because you're actually making things worse. And what people really need is just money. So you should just like do your job and donate <laughs> money. <laughs> so, I mean, donating is fine if you know that the money actually goes directly yeah. to the people, right? Not like right, you exactly. Pass a charity, and then they take a cut, mm -hmm. and it's like service fees. And all that. And Actually, that do charities do that? Yeah, they all take like, well, not all of them, but a lot of them like. A lot of them take a cut, yeah. Because they have to pay staff, right? And then, then mm. they charge you all those fees. And then, I don't know about the actual amount people get in the end, but I know that they take a big cut, lah. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. Well, I don't really know anybody in Ukraine except this girl who like. Like, literally, I stumbled upon her, like, very small channel, because she talks about, like, minimalism stuff. Okay. And she's in the Ukraine, and mm -hmm. I've been, like, following her, because she posted, she's been posting, like, little updates here and there. Yeah. And then she just posted a vlog that I was going to watch today to see how, what she's doing to cope. Okay. Uh, I was hoping, kind of hoping that she, like, escaped, but it seems like she's staying put. Um. Mm. Yeah. Is she, is she in the affected region? I think she's not in the worst bomb region. It sounds like what she's talking about is not exactly, but I'm not completely sure. I need to watch the whole thing to see. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's like, yeah, I can see in the comments, like, you know, people were offering to shelter her in like other countries and stuff. But the problem is that she can't even get out. Yeah. You yeah. Know? It's like the, 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 you know, well meaning thing. And then she doesn't want to leave. I think that's the other thing. It's like, I, I had actually linked her, like, you know, back, like, a few days ago when people could still leave. Because I think now the issue is, like, her husband won't be allowed to leave because they're, con they're not allowing men who are 18 to 60 years old to leave. Oh. Mm. And it's like, you know, that the timing was really important. Yeah. Yeah. So, and they're giving out, like, guns and stuff to everybody. Damn. And it's like, times like these, I'm like, oh, man. Maybe I should learn how to use a gun. Like, <laughs> can you imagine? Like now you're like given a gun, but you don't know how to use it, and that's no good either. <laughs> I should. Sure I should. Sure they will teach you. Yeah, but I feel like it's one of those things where it's not like you know five minute tutorial, YouTube tutorial on how to no, use a gun. No, but but like, I don't think they expect all these people to become like trained soldiers, right? It's more like 
equipping them so that in case uh, they get invaded. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if they get invaded, yeah. then at least they are prepared. Then I don't know. I guess then soldiers would be less inclined to be like kicking down doors and like rushing in, right? To be a bit Hopefully. more wary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then like there's all these people on like social media who are like, "Oh yeah, I'm in like a professional anti tank mechanic, and you know you should do this to a tank. You want to destroy it." And oh. then like someone else would be like, "Oh, but this person is totally making shit up because the the schema they're using is from a tank that's not even released yet." And it's like mm-hmm. it's just like, "Oh my gosh!" Like it it just seems was legit, like somewhat legit. And then you read more about it, and you're like, "Oh wait, it's not legit." Like, <laughs> and I'm like, "What's wrong with these people?" If you don't know what you're talking about, why are you posting this shit? Like they want, they want like the karma, the command karma. Yeah, yeah but like, oh my gosh, like that's what people do all the time. But huh? then, but then, because you don't know if it's if it's accurate, so when they mm-hmm. when they talk about it, especially they like present it in like a very concise way, right? Then you're like, oh, mm-hmm. this looks legit, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, like, I think she talks about it in this video, too, where she's, like, subjected to so much fake news that mm-hmm. they don't actually... If you're in Ukraine, you might not even know what's going on. <laughs> and she was like, I don't even know what I believed until I saw the bombing videos. And I'm like, okay, I recognize that street, so I think this video is real. It's like, that's the level of, like, thing they're dealing with. Yeah. You know? Because I bet, like, you know, Russia is also seeding them with false information. So it's kind of like... I don't know, just overall very sad. Like that video of the video game that was being sent around. People were saying it was the missile. Oh, really? Attack. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. What's wrong with people? <laughs> Why would you do this? Like, it's already terrible enough. Why are you spreading false information? No, it's like someone sent them, like, oh, shit, this is happening. And then they send it without. Right. Verifying. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Then there's another one where there's a video of bombs and then the penny is. Uh... It's a footage from 2003, like mm-hmm. when America was like uh, attacking Iraq. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people were like spreading it like as if it's like happening now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess yeah. it's hard for people to, most people to verify unless they've actually seen the video before. Yeah. So I guess the best mm-hmm. thing to do is just, I don't know, like just don't take everything you see online as like fact. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right. It's true. <sighs> Nothing is true. Yeah, but it's just so sad that even, like, I was hoping for some of the more upvoted stuff in Reddit to be at least a little better, but now I'm realizing that even that shit is, like, terrible. <laughs> so now I don't feel like... Yeah, I don't know. But the, the president of the, of the Ukraine, Zelensky, has proven himself to be... I don't know. I want to say quite cool, but it's also kind of like, gosh, like, it's tough because he almost has to be, like, tough for the camera, too. Yeah. Or else people would give up. Mm-hmm. And, well, I mean, you know, the, it... uh, what do you call it? Is it, is it Afghanistan when, like, the Taliban took took it back when the US yeah. troops are pulling out? And then, like, yeah. the, uh, the, was it President? And then he, like, ran away or something, right? Right. Yeah. So that's terrible. Yeah. But, you know. I mean, it's either you run away yeah. or you stay, right? So not much not much choice. I mean, at this point, right. we just need someone to assassinate Putin, right? That's what everyone on Reddit says, but then other people <laughs> say that you don't know who's going to fill the vacuum, you know? Yeah. Could be someone even worse than Putin. Could be better or worse. But it's only better if the pers- the people who did it are the ones who are like taking over, right? If it's just some random guy, and then like he has no way to rise to the power, uh-huh. then then like maybe Putin's party would just be like, oh, oh I mean, if the next guy's an idiot, kill him too. Mm. <laughs> Not sustainable. Eventually, yeah. there'll be a non-violent Russian who comes to power. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Will the rest yeah. of the world step in to do anything? Well, they they can't. I mean, they have no like uh, what do you call it? Like no justification to step in. Yeah, 
It's only like it's a, like a, it's like a moral thing. It's like, oh, you shouldn't do this, but uh, I can't do anything about it. So I'm just gonna. Well, say that you yeah, do they're it. giving a lot of economic sanctions, and then they're finally yeah. disconnecting some of the Russian banks from the SWIFT system. Mm-hmm. Which will Are they? I thought they were like stop them from. I thought they were just discussing it. I didn't. I didn't think they. Uh, they they, they did, did it only to some banks, not mm-hmm. all banks. So. You know, and then like some countries are giving them military support and stuff, but like not people, just like weapons and things like that. But yeah, I think the issue is like if you are like, you know, since they're not part of NATO, they're not allowed to part- like, you know, if we participate, then it, it kind of like gives Russia a, a, a excuse to attack you as well, that kind of thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. So. I'm sure this is all way more complex. And <laughs> you only see like a tiny corner of it. But yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I'm hoping that you know the Ukraine people will hold up and and it seems like I don't know. Like last night, it seemed pretty hopeful. I don't know what the news is today. Yeah. I don't. I don't think anyone actually expects Ukraine to hold out, right? Like to Let's win. See. Well, they have to at least make it very, very difficult. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. I think I read, like, they said Russia has, like, 900,000 troops or something like that in their whole army. Is that a lot or very little? I think it's supposed to be a lot. It's like they are, like, one of the the largest armies in the world or something like that. Mm-hmm. Ukraine's health minister mm. said at least 198 Ukrainians, including three children, have been killed so far. More than 360,000 Ukrainians have fled the country, majority crossing into Poland. Mm-mm. Well, it says here that Ukraine agrees to talks in Belarus. Oh, they did? Yeah. Is it, is it just re- is it recent? Um, yeah, it's just on New York Times Live. Oh, okay. Because just now I was like reading and then apparently they didn't want to talk in Belarus. Mm, because uh, it's, yeah. uh, it's, not so, it's not very neutral ground, so they apparently wanted to have the discussion somewhere more neutral. Mm-hmm. But a lot of people are like, but even in sports, like, uh, uh, is it? I don't know, there were like a few countries, so apparently like now it's the World Cup qualifiers. Mm -hmm. So apparently some uh, countries are refusing to play against Russia. (laughs) Well, it's kind of like you do what you can, right? Then Russia gets a free win. The least they can do is not play. (laughs) But then some people say it's not fair because it's the actions of the government, not the people. Mm Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a bit hard. It's a bit like uh, heartening to see like Russian people are actually protesting it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Andrew asks, "What's the latest update? As in, has Russia conquered any part yet?" I don't think so. Uh, according to Al Jazeera news, Russian forces are meeting strong and wide Ukraine resistance. Analysts say Russian military have been caught off guard by the level of pushback by Ukraine fighters. Um, so again, all this is from Reddit, right? So you see all these no, videos this on Reddit. No, this Al Jazeera, yeah. No, no, but I mean, you, you see all these videos on Reddit of like people saying what, like, uh, U- Ukrainian forces capture a soldier, and then like uh, they they are treating him well or something like that, you know, mm-hmm. to make it seem like they're mm-hmm. the good guys. Then yeah. apparently, like they're saying, all these people who are like being captured, like. Apparently, mm-hmm. they didn't know that they were going to war, right? So, I think the initial, uh, the initial premise of Russian troops being in that area was for uh, what training exercise or something. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. So, so, they were so kept in the dark. I won't say they kept in the dark, but I guess they were uh, sent there saying like for training, and then uh, they didn't expect to be it to turn into like a war. Mm-hmm. So, so some of them were like unprepared, and a lot of them are like really young kids who are like mm-hmm. conscripted. Apparently, it's a conscription is a thing in Russia. Yeah, mm. yeah. So like a lot of them are like uh, kids, and then like untrained. So that's how they are like beating them back or something. 
But I don't know, this oh. is like all people seeing on Reddit. La, These aren't rubber yeah. bullets. Yeah. My yeah. dad says uh, Russian government under Putin have given the NATO not to intervene. We'll use nuclear weapons. Mm. I don't mm-hmm. know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <sighs> hopefully no nuclear war. I don't know. I know, right? It's like this... <laughs> <sighs> This timeline is kind of terrible. Just need Elon Musk to come save. Well, <laughs> apparently he sent up Starlink in Ukraine. Yeah. To shoot down oh, his so... iron cannon or something. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So I don't know. Me but it's Avengers. Like... <laughs> you need Peacemaker. I know, right? Hashtag. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> did you see that? <sighs> no, I did not. Is it uh, worth watching? No, no, the, yeah, uh, the news... Peacemaker's really good. Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen Peacemaker. But oh. Singip shared the... Was it Singip or Andrew? He shared Andrew, the news Andrew, about yeah. uh, John Cena's tweet getting flames. For what? What did he say? Oh, God, what did he say? He said something about the world could use a Peacemaker right now or something. Oh, oh he, he said, did? Like, oh, gosh. Right? Something, like something about if he, if he could be... If he could actually be Peacemaker or something, then he would, like, help or something like that. Yeah. But the thing is, he hashtag peacemaker, right? Yeah. So uh-huh. like, it, it felt very, it felt like an obvious marketing promotion mm-hmm. tweet. Right. Yeah. Oh, that, that's that's so main character syndrome. It's like Robert Downey Jr. was like, oh, hashtag Iron Man Marvel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. Like, yeah. do you think he deserved to be flamed for that? I mean, yeah, like, ca- trying to capitalize on a terrible thing, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember I saw, like, <laughs> someone on on LinkedIn or something, like, uh-huh. talked about, like, what's happening in the Ukraine and take, you know, the Russia takeover and then, like, transitioning to, and now we're going to take over Amazon or something terrible like that. And then they got totally flamed. <laughs> and then the guy got fired, allegedly. Oh, like, <laughs> but supposedly he's not really truly fired because he's the CEO of the company or something like that. It was all just really stupid. But like, uh, just reassigned. Yeah, so now, now I feel like it's a very awkward time to promote anything. Yeah, honey ritual. Yeah. <laughs> no, I feel like I feel like now's not not a good time to talk about. Proof your bullet In fact, yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Uh. I don't know. I feel like now now is just like a time to make space for people who need, really need help. Yeah. Yeah. But again, it's like this, this YouTuber, right? I'm like, I'm like, okay, you're the one person that I know, but I, I wonder what, what you know, we can do to help and stuff. Mm-hmm. I wonder if she'll talk about that in the video. So I'll yeah. report back if she says anything. Hmm. Yeah. No, but I don't know. It just blows my mind how some people like just the act, the decisions of like individuals can lead to such, you know, catastrophes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well. Yeah. That's most of the world. Yeah. Was it ever a good idea to have like a whole country, like being led by like a small number of people? Then again, right, if you have too many leaders, then things might not get done or too much I mean, conflict. It's, in, it's inefficient so, to have... I also don't know. It's, it's inefficient to have, like, everybody weigh in. Because then you have to wait for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why you have, like, politicians who are represent... Are supposed to represent your interests, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, look what happened when, like, the UK... Let people vote for Brexit. Oh, it seems apparently fine, a lot yeah. of them. No, but apparently a lot of them didn't even know what they were voting what for. What they were voting for, yeah. Yeah, it's like there's no understanding, <laughs> and it's so like when you, when you let everyone have the choice, some yeah. people don't even know what they're choosing in the first place, right? <laughs> yeah. Or imagine yeah. like if you are you are being forced to choose because of family or whatever, you know. Mm. Hmm. I mean, like, this is what happens when you, right now, even, right, when you, when there are elections, and then, if, let's say, our family is, like, mostly uh, one side, and then you choose to vote the other side, and then people get mad at you. You don't have to tell them. Mm-hmm. 
You could lie to them. They won't know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess you could. But not everyone does, right? And then you always hear about people uh, getting into arguments with family members over their political decisions. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Or you could be like me and not vote. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. You could vote the last election, right, Kristen? Are you allowed to vote? No. Oh, you, you... No. oh, okay. Yeah, you need to be citizen to vote. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. I mean, well, I would like to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but not yet. Like in America? Yeah, I think it has to do with like whether you believe your vote even counts, right? And it's like, you know, I think I like mean, the, the, the... Like, I feel like it's one person, it doesn't matter, right? But then people say like, oh, but if a million people thought that way, then that's a million votes lost, right? Mm-hmm. Right, exactly. And a lot of the, 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 the voting that actually needs to happen is happening on the local level. Like... They are your your county and like things like that and like those are the decisions that actually affect your everyday life and your vote actually counts for a lot more for this few people. Yeah, that's why I, I feel was like. like. But the problem is that most people don't vote on these local elections because it's like there you actually don't have much choice because a lot of people don't run for these smaller positions. So a lot of times you have like same candidate over and over or like the the, the uh, like issues are like explained in such a poor way that you don't even know what you're voting for sometimes. Or like they they are like you know oh you know we're gonna vote to spend money on here but actually the bill if you read carefully is spending money on something else like and it's like lots of like gotchas that they put onto these votes. Yeah. But I don't know. I feel like a- ability to vote would be nice. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't mind voting if I feel like it makes a difference. Like, mm-hmm. like last time, my like a few months ago, my condo had like a owners meeting. <laughs> and then like they they ask us to vote on stuff like oh yeah. um do, uh should we proceed with renovating the pool and stuff like that mm-hmm. uh-huh. and I was like uh-huh. hell yeah and then I voted yes <laughs> <laughs> was it yes in the end uh if I'm not mistaken pretty much all the renovation and like upgrading ideas were passed yeah oh wow yay so there was some stuff to... that you voted and didn't. Go through, or were you uh, mostly with a majority? Oh yeah, I think pretty. I think there might have been one that didn't go through, but I forgot which one it was uh, But then for the most part, everything else was uh went through lah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can't wait to have yeah. a new swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> wow. Well. Yeah. Speaking of happier things, mm-hmm. Elden Ring came out. <laughs> oh. Have you heard of it before, Kristen? You know, that was really funny. Okay, so you, I know you're transitioning a your topic, uh-huh. but then the only reason why I've heard of Elden Ring is because I saw a Reddit post of someone who's in the Ukraine hiding in a bunker playing you could know Elden Ring. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason why I've heard of it. Uh. <laughs> So he and the post was like, uh, I'm dying, di- like you know, I might be dead soon, but at least I have happiness or something like that." Yeah. <laughs> like Elden Ring. <laughs> so I don't know. That's the world we live in now. Yeah. Post, like this topic, advertising. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do to like escape. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, what is Elden Ring? Tell me more about it. Um. So like, it's basically Dark Souls. But like set in a huge open world. Mm-hmm. Remember the game I was like complaining about, I think last year, about how difficult it was and whatnot. Is it the same developers? Yeah, yeah, same developer. Oh, okay. So like oh. since then, like, you know, I've beaten all three games in the series and like mm-hmm. I've become a huge fan of it. So mm-hmm. when the game came out, like on Friday, I bought it. Mm-hmm. Like Mm-hmm. Immediately, it's like the first time I bought a game on launch day, mm-hmm. and yeah, so I've been playing it the past weekend. I put about like mm-hmm. twelve hours in already, I think. <laughs> oh, nice! And uh, it's really cool. Uh, so like, one thing about this game is like it got a lot of mainstream attention because uh, mm-hmm. George R R Martin was the one that uh, developed the backstory for the game. 
Oh yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Now, uh, now it makes sense because my some of my friends are ranting about how he instead of write, finishing a certain novel, oh. <laughs> he's diddling away his time before dying <laughs> on other projects. No, but according to interviews, the work was like done many years ago already. Oh, okay. yeah. Fine. They had to write the story first, and then they built uh-huh. the game around it. Yeah. Oh. So, okay. but gameplay but, wise, it's like Dark Souls. Yeah, and uh, the law like and character designs like you can see a lot of Game of Thrones uh, inspiration mm-hmm. as well. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, so if it's open world, is it an ending or is it like? Oh, there is an like ending, forever? but you can. Oh, okay. Play a lot. Ah. Mm. Is it grindy? Um, not really, but I guess you can grind if you want. Oh, okay. Mm. Cool. So, like, in this game, you can beat bosses um, to progress the story Mm -hmm. with skill. Mm. Or you can grind to make your character more powerful and then beat with less skill, which is what I'm doing. (laughs) Uh I'm not not so skillful, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) But yeah, so it's... uh, It's it's been a good... uh, I streamed it yesterday i think yeah mm-hmm. but i guess people don't really want to watch my stream for that they rather watch Dota. Really? yeah oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay i've been playing it offline i mean uh at home but and you stream on twitch a lot of people will watch right no on twitch there's like so many bigger streamers it's like the most streamed game now i think on twitch yeah but then it gives you like a higher chance of being discovered no lot people will see all the front page streamers and click on them instead of me. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, but is it because you're so Dota heavy that you're actually considered a mainstream streamer of Dota? So you can... No, you it's like I'm not there. even considered on the main page. My stream is minuscule. Like, oh. <laughs> one, two viewers at a time, you know? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Better than none. Yeah, I know. But mm-hmm. uh, yeah, and of course, uh, my um, my Sejatara app, like the COVID mm-hmm. app in Malaysia, will mm-hmm. like send me a warning on Friday saying I was in casual contact, so my status changed to yellow. Oh, you did! Oh mm. my gosh! Yeah, but no idea oh. where and all, and so uh, yeah, I mean, been staying home, just oh. you know, be a good boy. Well, good thing oh. I have video games to keep me company. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Your app actually works? I've never gotten a single alert ever. <laughs> yeah, good, right? I guess. <laughs> that's good. I don't know. I, but it's more like, I think... Or maybe no one is reporting. using it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's because I've never encountered a single COVID person ever. That's impossible. Like, are you forced to check in anywhere in the US? Do you have to check in every time you go to a new place? No. Nope. Oh, then how does your app work? I think it's by Bluetooth prox- approximation only. Uh huh. Yeah. If you're near someone who voluntarily reported that they have COVID into the app, <laughs> like then then it will show up. Okay. Yeah. Well, the Malaysia one is different. You check mm. into a place. Oh. Yeah. You were here, right? Yeah. During, you were here. You were in Malaysia during the pandemic, right? But then yeah, but I think that was before I left. Before the app really took off. When you leave, June, July, July, yeah, should have been. Oh well, I guess actually no. That would have been like during the lockdown, right? Like mm-hmm. the the major one. So I guess they didn't yeah. have it yet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, and then back then people weren't so strict on mm-hmm. checking. But then now, oh. like, yeah, yeah, like now, like now, like you go to malls, and then, uh, sometimes the guards might stop you, yeah, uh, oh. and then they will ask to see like your vaccination status, yeah. Really? But then, wow. like, no, no. But then it depends. Uh, some people don't care, and then some people like, uh, yeah. I swear, some things. of the guards they just mm, 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 come, mm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
But they only ever stop you if you don't, if you are like obvious about not checking in. Like you just walk past, right? Yeah, you can you. just walk past, put your phone but up, then, and then. But then, yeah, yeah exactly. That's so why I'm like, how would they know, right? I could just no, be holding no. my phone like this, and then, yeah. like, yeah. I mean, I don't know. You expect, like, yeah, I guess if they're being paid to do it, then they probably should do their jobs, but. I think, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. I've, I've only ever been, like, checked, like, few times only and like all the places i've actually checked into only a handful have actually asked to see that i actually checked in mm-hmm. yeah yeah i mean in a way it's like annoying like oh um can i see it you know then you waste time mm-hmm. but i mean i get it like you know you tend to be like, everyone wants to be safe right so yeah the last time i got checked yeah. was uh at, at at restaurant in hatamas when the oh uh for chinese new year i think yeah mm. okay, so we went and sat down already and then uh the, the like there was supposed to be i guess there was supposed to be someone at the door but he wasn't there and uh, he came to mm-hmm. us and then he said oh uh can we see your check-in and then i had to mm-hmm. turn on the phone to show him mm. yeah but most places you know they just i just show it and then they're like mm, you know like they don't even look oh you at you you actually i could have been that. holding like a screenshot like all right no, but, you, but you actually show if i walk past a guard yeah i do show all right i'm not yeah. sure if they ask but i mean oh. i check it everywhere like, but i just show it all yeah. right even when i go to like uh, zeus coffee or whatever check in uh, show the cashier yeah yeah here they are like it's either like super strict in that they will check both your uh, vaccination card and your id and make sure it matches your face that kind of thing mm-hmm. but your card is like a physical card right it's not like a digital set right oh you know what they accept is just a photo of your card it's super ghetto because <laughs> oh. like the funny thing is like actually i have like an apple health like thing yeah where it's like you know like a code and stuff but then it's really stupid it doesn't display my name so mm. usually when I show them that, they're like, "Oh no, I would rather see your vaccine, a photo of your vaccination card." Yeah. So I have to uh, like dig that out. Does that have your yeah. face in it, the vaccination card? No, it's just a crappy piece of paper. So what how would they even know that it's true? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then they, exactly, it's it's so easy to fake if you want to. That's yeah. I guess that's why people go to jail. But like, <laughs> yeah, like the system is really stupid. Uh, I think. But now they're removing the mask trouble. mandates here. Uh huh. Oh, it's okay. like crazy. Yeah, the CDC is now removing mass mandates, and I'm like, uh, I'm still keeping mine on. Like, <laughs> I wonder how long awkward. we'll be wearing masks for. But I don't know. Like, maybe it's because I go out less now, so like I don't get, I don't get sick, like uh from my regular flu, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I feel like in a way, like uh mask help because everyone's mass and i'm mass so it's like extra mm-hmm. protection did you ever get regular mm-hmm. flu though but uh, i'm curious like uh over in like countries like japan or korea where people are like mm-hmm. mass culture is more common there right i don't know like what yeah. their their flu rates are compared to like other parts of the world mm-hmm. oh yeah mm-hmm no, but uh, did mm. did you ever get flu often? No, but I mean, I mean, I'll get get it at least once a year, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, but yeah so that's far, true. I haven't so gone to the doctor. I did go I to the pharmacy the for, for back pain, things, though. Yeah. <laughs> but the other day, my sister had back pain. <laughs> she was asking me whether I had a salon pass. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> She's like, oh, old age. Yeah. <laughs> God. It's okay. I also use sometimes. Yeah. Is it selling get... pass in the States or a different brand? They do sell it here. Oh, no, wow. they sell selling pass. <laughs> they sell like, uh, was it Tiger Balm? Yes. Oh. How about uh, X Oil? No, that one's harder to find. You can find it in Chinese stores, uh-huh. but then Salon Pass and Pai Warm, you can find it in like ordinary drugstores. Okay. <laughs> wow. It's like mainstream. How about Yoko Yoko? Mm-hmm. That one I don't see very often. 
Actually, in fact, I feel like that's the one thing I want to buy. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't that be like Western equivalent of that? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there's like Ben Gay or something like that. But I feel like it's like, you know, the whole glue bottle with the tilted neck thing. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> that's important. It makes it easier to reach. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just smart design. Yoko, Yoko. MLs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> so what else should we talk about? I feel like I don't, my, I don't have many sharp topics for today. Let's see if we can pull from our random question list. Oh gosh, I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, well, uh, how's your Twitter journey? Oh, uh, good. I I don't I haven't been posting as often, but like it's been growing. I thought you I schedule like every day for a whole year. I I did not, but I already passed like my goal. Oh, uh, okay. That's a thing. What was your I goal? I didn't say I didn't. Like 365 tweets? Yeah, I already posted more than that. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, because I post a lot of replies and I also like do tweet threads. But I do, when I do post, I post like, you know, six or eight at a time. Yeah. So I already surpassed my goal. Okay. Yeah. Are, are you going to include the replies in your book? Posting. So if they're relevant, yeah. Mm. I mean, obviously, I also should post a lot in my replies. Those yeah. don't make it into the book. Oh. Uh. Yeah. I uh-huh. should tweet at you so I have a chance to be in your book. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'll tweet something profound and you're like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Please, you have to link it to me because sometimes I don't even see things in my timeline. Yeah. Oh, so popular now. Yeah, so popular. No, that's not why. It's because the algorithms are very like. They always hide things from me. I'm like, I actually want to see my friends' tweets and I don't see them very much. I'll tweet at you so it'll be in your notifications. Hmm? I'll tweet at you so it will be in your notification. Oh, with the at? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you have to remember to not at me in the first thing because apparently that makes it a DM. Oh, really? Oh, really? Huh. huh. Uh, supposedly, because I had done it once where I add someone in the first word and yeah. then they said... Someone told me that, oh, it doesn't show up in anyone else's timeline if you do it that way. Mm. Oh, interesting. All yeah. these Twitter hacks. Yeah. Uh, tell us like, some like, other <laughs> Twitter tips mm-hmm. that our listeners might find helpful. Uh, gosh. I mean, if you don't use Twitter, I'm not sure why you would need any Twitter hacks in the first place. No, but then it might be a cool hack that could be like could boost like your visibility of your product oh brand. right then oh, i'd be like oh maybe i, I should use Twitter, though, you know well there's a lot of tools that people use including mm-hmm. myself like tweet hunter or like uh, hype fury or typefully those give you analytics that you don't see if you just use plain twitter okay and then also it tells you what time your your um uh people that you follow you are on so you know when to time your your ah. tweets so that they can see it oh that's a good hack yeah 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 but, but does I it mean, tell like, when you know, they go on or it tells that aggregate, time zone? yeah no oh. it tells you when that wow okay that's that's really useful like yeah. when they're tweeting is when when they're on right uh-huh. so it gives you that kind of data to help you uh, i wonder if i have a pattern on my tweets yeah. you notice know, like something we've noticed mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. no i mean any, anything oh, you notice know, about your own tweeting habits oh what time i tend to, like i notice that if i tweet too late at night no one replies but like and then when i tweet about 10 a.m my time is when i usually get the most views Oh, ah, so interesting. people, yeah, that tend to follow. And I, I never think about those people. kind of things when I post on my Instagram. It's just like, oh, I something that I want to post, and I'll just post it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, and like they used to. Uh, no, my friends, I noticed that like before, when you do like a tweet thread, and then you have a link at the end, it would get boosted. But now we notice that now it doesn't get boosted. So. So now I'm trying not to tweet a link at the very end. Like, I'll hold it until the tweet thread has been up for a while, and then I'll post the link at the end. 
They, they change the algorithm where they don't favor links at all, even within a tweet thread. Because we kind of knew that if you mm-hmm. post anything like, like an individual tweet with a link, mm-hmm. usually you you don't get shown because they don't want you to go out of Twitter. Yeah. Oh. So ah, yeah, and then like pictures used to get boosted more, and now it's a little unclear whether posts with pictures are boosted more. Now you need to do short repeating videos. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Like, is it videos now? I don't know. Loops, TikToks. Yeah. Yeah. Are you on TikTok? Uh, I'm only stalking people. I don't post anything. Uh. <laughs> I, I feel like TikTok is a bit like Snapchat. And I don't really, don't really get it either. Yeah. Yeah, and it's only like people whose content I follow on like YouTube or Instagram or whatever, and mm-hmm. I want to see what they're up to on TikTok. I, mean, yeah. I don't like. I haven't found anything that I'm less like super compelling yet. One thing I do like is the Hot explore girls. feed. Uh, that, yeah, well, <laughs> the explore feed is like just endless amount of content. You can just yeah like, swipe uh-huh. through. It's like a yeah, real I don't, time waste. I, <laughs> I don't want to do that because apparently like, that's how they learn what you like, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So like the more you do it, then like the more curated your feed gets. Yeah. So I don't know what I want to watch on TikTok yet. That's why I don't want to like uh, set the algorithm. Oh, up. right. Yeah, so uh, well, I I like uh, created an account right when I started my job. So I started using it. And then um, the videos kept becoming like more of the same types of content. Mm-hmm. And then um, I, I stopped using it for a while. And then mm-hmm. I think uh, just like earlier this year, I started using it again. And I sound mm-hmm. like I'm talking about drug. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, and like the, the feed was like completely like, I guess, reset. So it was a lot of ir- irrelevant content that mm. I did not care mm-hmm. about. I just... But how do you through. know? Is it like if you watch it, then they assume that you want to... You yeah, like probably it. if you watch it all the way to the end, it's mm. got your interest. And then also mm-hmm. probably if you like click on the person's profile, you're more interested that in like, ah, yeah i would think okay. and then maybe from shares and likes and whatnot but i never like anything i just swipe through yeah mm. and then i share funny stuff and hot girls <laughs> yeah you look at yeah oh uh, i guess you look at hot girls too <laughs> I was gonna say, like, the, this is how I actually consume TikTok content. Is like, is this like girl called like Elena Joy on YouTube? Uh-huh. <laughs> I watch her react to thirst traps on TikTok, and that's the only reason why I know anything about TikTok. Is I'm just watching her react to stuff, and Ooh. I find it very amusing. No heard of her because I don't want to sift through. I don't want to sift through all that kind of like TikTok trash to find what the good stuff is. So I'm just like, and then people send her the good stuff. So then I like peripherally watch the good stuff. Elena Joy? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess that's why right? I, like, I like so lazy to build the algorithm. Like, like Instagram yeah. already knows what I like. <laughs> and it took me like years. Well, <sighs> the, so like, Instagram suggests me really random shit though. Like it, it like sometimes think I, I either want to look at like super obese people, which I, I've never clicked on even once. Uh-huh. I don't know how the algorithm decided that. Maybe and it's a, like, a fitness related thing. <laughs> yeah, I think it's fitness related, but it went like to the wrong extreme because uh-huh. I'm like, I want to look like super jack people, but it gave me super fat people. <laughs> and I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> so then I stopped looking at my like explore thing. But then lately, it switched to okay. So it was a time I was okay. It was like um like food tube, you know, like you uh-huh. know those like I think it's like stuff that George sent me or something. You know those like you know super beautiful food creation things. Uh-huh. I'm like okay, that's fine. Yeah. But then now it's like switched again to like people like getting seriously injured. I'm not joking. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like bruises and like cut up toes. And huh. I'm like I didn't even look at that shit. What's going <laughs> on? So I don't know, like, what's wrong with my with my Instagram? I don't know. Like, what are, what are things I like is really like fucked up. <laughs> Maybe someone else is logged into your account and like looking at other shit. So I was like wondering if it's like maybe it's like you hung looking uh-huh. at stuff or something. Um, but yeah, like okay, yeah. So now I'm getting a little like bit of fish content. So maybe someone you hung's like IP address stuff is like coming over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
I don't know. Or I think it also thinks I really like to look at like nails and manicures, <laughs> which is another thing that I mean. I think it's because like someone I follow like、um, is starting her nail salon,、mm-hmm. so then it thinks I really like that nail content. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I'm like I don't know, I don't <laughs> care about nails that much. <laughs> well, I mean, they only have、yeah. like what you give them to work with, so. They try、I、to、guess. make educated guesses, yeah. Yeah. Like my my feed is actually fine now. Like it's full of art、mm-hmm. and like video game stuff that I like, and、mm-hmm. the occasional hot girl. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, like uh, I went on a purge a while ago where I just like unfollowed all the hot girls on Instagram. <laughs> Why? I don't know, cause、Why? I was like getting so so many recommendations for like all these thirsts. Traps, you know,、mm-hmm. on my explore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I unfollowed all, and then I just、uh, kept it at like art stuff, and then yeah, yeah、like、so my all、feet. this has like made me kind of numb already. <laughs> like, like now I scroll.、Traps? Yeah, like I just scroll.、Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, ah.、Oh, you know. Remember, like back in the day, we wouldn't see those kind of photos. Yeah, and then now you see, and then, like now it's like, like, whoa! You know, can you post that? You know. <laughs> then you know. Then now you're like. Ah,、oh, another one.、Yeah. <laughs> no, no, but okay. So there, was, I don't know. If, like, I brought this up with like、uh, Josh and like the rest before, right? So like, I don't know if Instagram knows what kind of photos you're looking at. But then there are like quite a few times where I scroll through photos, and then like、mm-hmm. sub like back to back photos would be of like like、uh, a girl posing, and then the、mm-hmm. next photo would be a different girl posing, but in a similar manner. And like、mm-hmm. it's happened like many times that I feel like it can't be a coincidence, right? <laughs> Or is it like everyone? Yeah, like like Instagram's like, oh, um, maybe you like these kind of poses. I'm gonna show you more of these. Oh,、so. oh, I、yeah. see. It must be a very specific pose. Yeah, I never know what pose you're talking it's not, about. It's not a specific. It's not no, it's not a specific pose. It's just like. Like let's say like it's a a photo of a girl like on all fours right, and the next one would be in a similar <laughs> way too. You know? So it's like sometimes it's like oh, is it because everyone's just posing like that these days? Is like a new trend? Maybe. Or is it because like Instagram actually looks at the photo itself and identifies、mm. like、uh, what's going on in the photo? It's like ah yes, the sexy pose. Let me tag. Yeah. <laughs> I get a lot of dogs and puppies、mm. and hedgehogs. Oh, oh yeah, I follow、okay. those accounts too. How wholesome! Too. Yeah, hedgehogs are so damn cute, man. Like, uh, yeah. But I wouldn't want to take care of one. Just, just be nice to have one. You know,、oh. whenever man, I want. Man, we <laughs> had some in our Malaysian home for a while. My brother somehow got a pair of hedgehogs. Uh huh. Yeah, but、uh, they they're kind of like they're only cute if you socialize them. But of course, he didn't socialize them, so it's not like you can do very much with them anyway. Oh. <laughs> What、yeah. can you do with them anyway? Take photos of know, them. You can put them in your yeah. hand. Yeah, you can put you them. Make them look cute. <laughs> That's all. That's you all can let、fun. them crawl around. They're basically、yeah. like rats, but with spikes. <laughs> 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 but、yeah. still cute, nevertheless. Mhm. Mhm. Oh, I was watching my friend's stream,、um, Final Fantasy VI.、Mm-hmm. That just came out because it got remastered and stuff. And then like,、uh, but the funny thing is like with, he was fighting like the first boss, and then there's this bug where like the boss just like yeeted out and never came back. So we were、oh. just sitting around waiting for the boss to come back, and then、uh, it just never did. So he had to restart the game. So、oh. it's like so buggy. Used to happen in, this, like, in like stupid way. <laughs> all things used to happen in WoW. So like, like、mm-hmm. you fight, and then like you're about to beat it, or、uh, then it goes into the next phase. And then like yeah,、uh, it bugs out, and then like you start all over again. Oh, that's、oh. annoying. You have to wait. You have to wait for like、uh, cooldowns to reset and all that. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Are you guys still playing? No, I haven't played in a while.、Mm. Well, recently I started playing my Switch again.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh,、well, what are you playing on it? I just play Mario Kart. Cause I don't. I don't know. I I feel so lazy to like start long games that. Need to that has a completion, you know.、Mm-hmm. Just want to play and like enjoy myself for like half an hour and be done with it.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, a toilet game. 
Yeah, you exactly. Have, uh, you're the perfect target for like mobile games. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's why I like I like like games like Fun Run last time or like Arch Hero. Mm-hmm. Like you can just like play a couple <laughs> of rounds and then be done with it. Mm-hmm. And then you don't have to think about like, oh, um, okay, I need to get this armor. I need to get this weapon, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't like, I mean, this, I, 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 I'm like quite curious about Elden Rings. I feel like, I feel like playing it, but then the thought of like having to go through all of that seems so tedious. <laughs> and, and I'm like I'm like a theory crafter. I like all those min maxing kind of things. You can min max in this mm-hmm. game. It's I know, but then like it's so it's so tedious, right? And then you have to like look for gear and all that. Uh-huh. I used to spend more time like reading all these wow wiki things <laughs> and playing the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's really fun. If uh, I mean, I won't say it's a game for everybody, but if you like get hooked onto it, like you really have a good time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then if it's too hard, I, I get bored. Like, like with Cuphead, or like, some of the bosses are so hard, then I stop playing it already. I'm like, ah, oh, mm-hmm. I'm be bothered. <laughs> like, so frustrating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, you have the option to become overpowered. Then oh. bosses will become easy. Yeah. I guess you can't really do that with Cuphead. <laughs> yeah, not with Cuphead. <laughs> yeah. I mean, RPGs are like that, like, you know, you get OP... And then you can like three shot bosses or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we've hit the hour mark. So mm. we should do a shout out to our sponsors. Let me pull up Honey Ritual New Wave. Browser. Um Oh, Kristen, you should play like Overcooked with me. Overcooked. Yeah. Is that the the compa- the coordinating one? Yeah. Oh, I used to play that with her. <coughs> yeah. Did it make so you fun. angry? Uh, huh? Did it make you angry? No, because I'm usually the dumb one. Oh right. <laughs> you no, know, like it's usually the bossy friend who gets angry, right? <laughs> Oh, then, then, I guess Whereas I'm like, I, I slipped <laughs> off. I've slipped off the ice again. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, Flow State Coffee is uh, our sponsor for this podcast. Um, if you need coffee with L-theanine and raw cacao for lowering anxiety, improving brain function, and supporting creativity, uh, you can give it a shot. Place um, to bags in your order for free shipping globally and um, use our code f- newwave.co evening drama to get 10% off your order and um, yeah follow this guy on twitter it's full of tweets about coffee and he's very yeah. inspirational and uh, our next sponsor is honey ritual Stress relief has never been tastier. So if you want a tea made from jujubes, longan fruits, and rose buds uh, for your cognitive health, gut health, stress relief, uh, give it a shot. <clears throat> you can use our code honeyritual.com slash discount slash evening drama 10 for 10% of your order. And you can also find it on Amazon. Yes. Yes, and then we're actually almost out of our first batch. So, please oh. do. Some. Congrats! Yeah. Yay! Like, how how long does it take to get the next batch produced? It depends on when the manufacturer, aka me, <laughs> gets around to it. <laughs> you make it all um, yourself at home. We make it ourselves. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. We're, we're not big enough to like hire someone else to do it yet. But yes, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm every, everything. That's so cool, though. You should oh, like yeah. do a video, like, tour of the process. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think, um, actually, my co founder posted some Instagram, with, like, loops of us doing it a while back. Oh, okay. So we check out our old Instagram. All right. I shall do that. <laughs> well, we've come right. to the end of the episode. <laughs> I guess we shall announce the news. You guys want to do the honor? 
Oh. We are getting yeah. syndicated on Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> we, we kicked off Joe Rogan, so yeah, we're taking a spot. It was it was too controversial. They wanted something more vanilla. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want cardboard? Here it is. Exactly. <laughs> no. Well, thanks to our viewers, we have like done ninety nine episodes, so we are going to. Um, essentially take our bows in episode 100 which will be next week mm -hmm. um, so thank you for all your support and then like you know we're in a way we achieved our goal set up from the beginning yeah which you know which uh, uh, apparently we all forgot but apparently it was <laughs> to to be able to kind of like do something creative and, and like you know and I feel like ever since like we started the podcast we did tons of creative things <laughs> from from drawing a lot to writing a lot to now you guys are moving on to video editing and then mm -hmm. like i started like several businesses in the meantime I feel <laughs> like we're doing quite a lot you're gonna become <laughs> I, don't a... know. I don't know do you think we did buddhist teacher it just feels yeah. like it just feels like i just did stuff and then now i have somewhere to tell people that i did stuff <laughs> yes doing doing stuff is a never-ending process yeah <laughs> Yeah, well, but I feel like we've done more uh, compared to if we didn't have the podcast. And plus, I was very depressed when I first when we first started out. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate you guys supporting me as I made my way out of my depression hole. Oh, so if you go back to the first episode, you can tell. <laughs> I think the first one yeah. was like you and me and a big picture of the COVID virus on the screen or something. Oh yes, yes, <laughs> it, was, it was. It was back when we didn't know what the hell was going on. It was yeah. a very scary time. Still and don't. we're now in a place where we still don't know what's going on, but we uh, kind of uh, got numb to it. It's still scary. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so <sighs> next week, episode 100 will be our final one. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, we'll try to do something special. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk so about please it send this in week. your thoughts <laughs> on what you want to ask us, because this is your last chance. Yeah, so if you have any questions and whatnot, feel free to drop it. Mm -hmm. And yeah... yeah. See you all for the grand finale. Um, what's the date next week? Twenty seven, the sixth of March. That will be mm -hmm. the final episode of Evening Drama. I'll mm -hmm. still stream video games, so if you want to watch that, I'll still be around. But yeah, uh, we'll be focusing our energies on other projects instead. Mm -hmm. But uh, thank you all. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you for another episode. It's been a ride. See you all next week. Take care. Have a good okay. week, everyone. Bye. Bye, world. Bye, world. <laughs>